Good morning everybody and this is your S&P 500 day trade setups for today. So yesterday we had a continuation of the, um, the bullish trend if we should call it that or the green bars so ending up with another green bar. Uh, we are just above this previous high at the moment. We did close above it and at the moment we've come back to test that environment. So if we start dropping down the levels we can trade you can put the level in here that's the previous high uh, we have bounced off it and then for some reason at the open well not really at the open but uh, this morning during the Asian session we have dropped quite significantly a big question that we should be asking ourselves right now is is this a double top okay that would be the neckline there at 3712 or alternatively is this just the start of a consolidation phase uh, for the next leg up so I'm to the opinion that we are moving up so my view on this right now is we have a bit of consolidation and we're expecting another leg to the upside the leg to the upside should pretty much be something along those lines there and that should be 37.50 sort of halfway to almost but uh, that's kind of the level we're looking for which is 37.46 is the move to the upside that we're looking for so yeah so I'm looking for opportunity to buy it could be right where we are now um, alternatively it could be a little bit lower down somewhere around there you can see there's uh, a bit of support that's found at this area 3706 and obviously 3700 being a fairly strong uh, round number so 3700 is down here and you can see there's some interaction there as well so that's kind of my view with what's going on at the moment uh, and um, what we see right now is pretty much doesn't matter how you want to draw it but something along those lines it's it's a flag so I'd expect us to continue sideways a little bit and then more than likely some sort of positive news come out and we start targeting 3746 3750 then 3800 okay so that's it for me today looking for opportunities to buy it does look fairly interesting where we are I could drop a little bit further all the way down to 3700 but uh, those are the different levels I'd be looking and paying attention to price action on the 15 minute chart Anyway, that's it for me. Hope it helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you next week. Cheers for now.